Now at 6, we begin with breaking news. A former high-profile coroner in the northern suburbs working hand-in-hand -hand with law enforcement. Now Dr. Thomas Rudd is accused of breaking the law himself. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. His specific crime? Perjury. In layman's terms, lying. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov is live in Waukegan with the breaking details. Dana. Erica and Rob, the news conference discussing the charges against the former coroner Thomas Rudd wrapped up literally minutes ago. Lake County officials and an independent investigator say these charges against the former coroner uh, are the result of a one-year investigation involving a grand jury. Today brought to the Lake County grand jury five counts of indictment against Thomas A. Rudd. Each of the five counts is a count of perjury. Investigators say the perjury counts surround petitions for Rudd's re-election bid. Rudd initially claimed he collected all the petition signatures, petitions that were notarized by law. Later, Rudd said that he may have been an heir. Apparently, that was too little, too late, legally speaking. He's now facing those five felony charges. And officials say it's not just about the signature collections. On these petitions, not only were they purported to be um, circulated and signed by Rudd, there's names on there, for example, of people who've been dead over 10 years. There's people who we found and had talked to that did, their names were on these petitions and they did not sign the petitions. Officials say, though, this really is just part of a larger investigation, an ongoing investigation that could involve current and former Lake County Coroner's Office employees. They will not give a timetable, though, as to when that investigation or part of the investigation will wrap up. I have placed a call to Thomas Rudd's attorney. So far, I have not heard back from him. We are live in Waukegan. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. All right, Dana, thank you.